Hey there! My name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This may very well be the final episode in the entire series, depending on how well we do against the final boss, Necron. I have leveled up even more. Uh, we're going to spam A throughout this entire little sequence here, because basically how the save state sets itself up is once you get to this little section here, that's where you can continue. Uh, the final save station is before the dragon fight. I forget what it's called, the shiny dragon or whatever, and then you fight Kuja after that. Uh, so that is the final save, and you can go back, which I did, uh, to grind your characters out. Now, the actual final location to grind is only for AP. I, I think I only fou uh, fought one crystalline enemy, which apparently is crystallized versions of the uh, four guardians. You can go back to that crystal section of the game, and um, yeah, you, you can fight crystalline versions of those enemies, but... The only one I fought, I, I believe it was a Crystallized Kraken, just gave me a bunch of AP, and I don't need AP. What? Why is everybody at 1 HP? Okay, well that's going to be our party. I, I think we should hopefully get fully healed. We're losing... Whoa, did this really put me at... Okay, so obviously all of our other party members are going to give us their souls. I hope it fully heals us, because usually it does and I thought I fully healed myself I'm not sure why we're at 1 HP uh, hopefully that fixes itself uh, but anyways yes I went back um, to the spot before that with the red crab dudes and the iron giants and I grinded out a bit more um, I also went into all of our abilities and I believe I've acquired and activated the ones that are most important now we're still missing Kiraga on Garnet which is gonna make this extremely difficult however we do have auto regen on a lot uh, we have auto life on a lot, and I ran through the boss just to see how it would go. And he was hard-pressed to kill my entire party. He would normally kill, like, two of them. And uh, the other two would just constantly be reviving themselves or, or what have you. So, I don't know. We could do this. Okay, everybody's back to full health. Great. All right, so you can see uh, none of their ability crystals or whatever you want to call them are available except for one for Zidane, but... There's nothing except for Gamble Defense, which we already have. Uh, I'll show you guys what we have activated. Auto Life, HP plus 20%, Distract, Bird Killer, because this is a flying enemy. And we should deal more damage to it. Gamble Defense, High Tide Counter. Um, and I don't have any of these sort of status effects activated because we have a ribbon on Zidane. So he should be invulnerable to all of the status effects, right? Uh, and then restore HP, which doesn't seem to do anything, actually. I, I don't even know if that does anything. Restores HP automatically when near death. I, I don't know if that does anything. Um, in fact, do we want to switch that out for, like, auto potion and something else that is five or six, actually? Uh, let's see. Body temp, we don't need either. Anything up here? Accuracy uh, plus... No, I think we'll just keep this, but I don't know if Restore HP does anything, is my point. Uh, moving on, for Steiner, we have Auto Life, Bird Killer, Devil Killer, Add Status, Counter, and then basically I just tried to get all of the status effect bonuses because Grand Cross will do a random status effect on our party. For Freya, we have Auto Regen, Auto Life, uh, Gamble Defense, Counter, Initiative, Insomniac, Bright Eyes, Clear Headed, and for Dagger, we have Auto Regen, Auto Life, um, and basically the same stuff. So, with the other three party members, we're basically trying to be invulnerable to the really important status effects when this thing uses Grand Cross, which is a huge problem with this boss fight. So, hopefully we'll be able to do this. Uh, our party is level 65, 61, 60, and 61, but I've heard people can beat this boss way lower than that. Uh, obviously, we're not really optimized here. This is my first time playing through this game. We didn't really do everything that we could, but... Hopefully, we'll be able to beat him now. Let's see. <sighs> he is very, very difficult, though. Although, when I was testing this fight out, I seemed to last way longer than I thought I could. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I looked up some hints and tips, and I researched a bunch of this fight. Apparently, we want to use uh, Dragon's Crest with Freya, but I tried that and it doesn't do any damage. I'm not sure if we have to level it up through some different avenue or something. I don't really know. But either way, here's Necron once again. And I know his abilities now, and I'll do my best to take him down. He is so much harder than pretty much everything else, which makes me think you have to grind to fight him. 
because Kuja before him was quite easy, honestly. Alright, let's do this. Alright, with Zidane we're going to attack, although it says to use Thievery, but I don't think that does anything. That's really unfortunate. Uh, we're going to use Rice's Wind with Freya, and with Steiner we're just going to attack as well. Apparently Steiner gets a really powerful attack called Charge or Shock, which we did not get. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, just handle things with his normal physical attack. I was able to get a trance off with Steiner and use charge and a couple of people were able to attack because they were low health, but we don't want that to happen. Uh, we're going to keep casting Cura. So this is one of his attacks. He uses Thundaga, which deals thunder damage to our entire party, uh, but that is less. Okay, I think we're going to... See, it says to use Dragon's Crest, but it doesn't do anything. So I think we'll just keep jumping with Freya. Oh god, I think that activates Mustard Bomb, which I think means that Freya is just instantly dead right now. Since we already inputted a command. Or maybe not. No, never mind. Okay, Zidane is also extremely close to his trance, which is really good. Blue Shockwave. Sets our party's health to one, but Zidane goes into trance now. So if we can get that heal off from Garnet, that would be great. See, he's low health. I guess it did raise his health. I'm not sure. It did raise his health by... Uh, 300 points or something since he was low health. I'm talking specifically about Zidane now. Alright! So now we need to use Zidane's Grand Lethal to deal as much damage as possible. I mean, we're in a good spot because Zidane is right there at Trance. So every time we start this fight, he's right there. Our whole party has regeneration. If he keeps casting Thundaga, that's totally fine. It doesn't really do that much to our party. Uh, Grand Cross is the biggest thing that we're worried about. And also, uh, Garnet has Auto Potion, just because I figured the animation being super annoying doesn't really matter when it gives us a bonus little bit of health every now and then. Can you go ahead and cast Grand Lethal Zidane? Jeez Louise, man. Okay, so this is his biggest, most horrible attack, obviously. It does damage to our entire party and also afflicts them with a random status effect. Now, I'm assuming the way that this boss fight works is that even if your party... Even if your party has invincibility to a lot of the different status effects, it'll just move on through the list. I do know it's random, but we'll see, because we have uh, a lot of invulnerabilities or invincibilities. Oh, God. Yeah, so Steiner got Mustard Bomb, it looks like, and Zdane is stopped, which is wonderful. He didn't even get that freaking... He didn't even get that Grand Lethal out, which is wonderful. Okay, so we need to unstop... Let's go ahead and use, let's see, do we have anything for unstop, for stop? I'm not even sure. Yeah, I don't think we have anything for stop, which is horrible. So the only thing I can think to do is to keep jumping with Freya. Steiner no longer has that mustard bomb effect, but he also can attack. Um, let's go ahead and use Kira. And Garnet has died for some reason. I'm not even sure why. But she has revived with 1 HP. Steiner now can attack. Okay. Wow, this is extremely lame that Zidane was affected with stop. I guess... Right, let's use Kira again. Keep attacking with Steiner. I'm not sure if I have anything under my belt to be able to... Cure Zidane from stop, which is extremely unfortunate. All right, let's see here. We need to get Dagger up, but that's going to involve reviving and then also using an elixir. I, I can't believe that Zidane got stopped out of all things. Okay, well, let's use an elixir on Zidane. Maybe just hope that that cures his... I, I don't know if there's literally one thing I can do to uh, unstop Zidane. In fact, I don't even know if he's afflicted with stop because there's nothing over his... Let's see. What does this do? Cures various status abnormalities. Yes, he is stopped. So I guess the ribbon doesn't stop stop, fortunately. Nor does the remedy... We have to have something, right? 
anything, anything at all, nothing. Just restores HP, okay, well that's extremely unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Phoenix down on Dagger, I suppose. Okay, well Zidane is not stopped anymore. We've got a lot of Grand Lethals under our belt. Um, let's go ahead and use an Elixir on Dagger as soon as she is restored. I don't think this is going to work out, but we'll see. Phoenix down. Okay, there we go. Use that on Dagger. If we can get this off, we're in a really, really good spot. I think Blue Shockwave does damage to our whole party, though, so that's not going to work, is it? Oh, nope. No, it doesn't. Blue Shockwave does everything but one damage to a certain party member. Okay, okay, okay. We may be able to recover here. God, I would love to beat this boss. Steiner's at 1 HP, but that's okay. We'll keep casting the Grand Lethals with Zidane, which I think do, in fact, do 9,999 damage. Okay, we keep jumping with Freya. I didn't see how much damage that did right there. Steiner gets the Cura. Nice! All right, all right. So we're definitely harder to kill this time around. Let's use Grand Lethal again. Grand Cross is probably coming out any second here. Maybe we should just have... There it goes. There it goes. Maybe we should just have Steiner use Elixirs, because... He doesn't have enough damage. We also need to cast uh, Rice's Wind when Freya lands. So I think Steiner is going to die. And I also guess we should not input commands before the Grand Lethal, because if he does inflict them with Mustard Bomb, obviously they'll die once they try to use the command. Now, the worst thing about this whole thing... Okay, it just casted death on Zidane, but he does have, yeah, he has, um, auto life. Blizzaga's gonna kill him out, though. Garnet also has Mustard Bomb, which means she's going to die. Zidane's dead. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so maybe we shouldn't even have the... Draga's fine. Heals him for a little bit. Maybe we shouldn't even have the ribbon on Zidane because it doesn't seem to do anything. It still gives him status effects. Okay, up Freya goes. Steiner's got... I don't even know what these status effects are. Okay, Dagger did not die, although I thought that she has... Um... Alright, let's use a Phoenix down on Zidane with Steiner. Yeah, Steiner's going to be our designated item user, I suppose. His physical attacks don't really do that much. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, Fre uh, Freya's gonna land here. Steiner still has auto life. So I'm still learning, obviously. Alright. Let's use an elixir on Steiner, on himself. Go ahead, cast yourself up. That's fine. Buff yourself. I don't care about that. That's totally cool, man. I don't know what these status effects are. That's the unfortunate thing. All right, let's use an elixir. Uh, blue shockwave. So that's going to reduce someone to... And it's Steiner, but that's totally cool. All right, we're going to use a Phoenix down on Zidane. And Garnet's doing something. I don't even know what's happening to her. I don't even know what status effect that is. Her head's just on fire. She seems to be just attacking over and over. Which is super unfortunate because we can't heal Zidane. But everybody's close to trance. Um, let's go ahead and use an elixir on Zidane. Please get this off. That would be so wonderful. Blue Shockwave's fine. Grand Lethal. Oh, for some, <laughs> for some reason I thought that said Grand Cross. And I was like, why do we have Grand Cross? Okay, alright. We're gonna cast Rice's Wind. We could do this. Everybody's back. Everybody's doing well right now. Oh, Blizzaga. Okay, that should be fine. That's the, un that's the other unfortunate thing about Necron here, is that he'll get certain attacks off multiple times. Okay, Freya's in trance now. Steiner's right there as well. We could do this. We could do this. We came back from the brink of death. That Grand Cross, man. It's just horrible, and I have no idea what the hell's going on with I guess she's... I guess that's Berserk, because she keeps attacking. Must be Berserk. All right, the Elixir was pointless, but it's not like we are ever going to use the Elixir after this fight anyways. Here's another Grand Lethal. Let's pay attention to how much damage it does. Okay, good. All right, uh, with Steiner, let's use the thing that gets rid of Berserk. I believe we have it. Yeah. Okay, we'll use that on Dagger so she can start healing. 
Even though, wow, her damage is coming out in spades. Okay, we use Grand Lethal again. And we are going to use... I don't even know what we should do with Freya. Um, we're going to use an Elixir on Steiner. Although he might be dead right now. And he is, in fact, dead. Okay. All right. Gosh, this, this would be so much easier if I just knew what half these status effects are. It's just that we haven't gotten half of these stats, uh, status effects before in this playthrough. Okay, that was a lot of damage that came out from Zidane. I think he's done with Trance. Or maybe he... Why defy your fate? Did we do it? Did we do it? Or is there another phase? Is the will to live that powerful? Oh boy! I thought we had way more ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen, than that. You can probably tell I was so flustered in my commentary, because honestly, a part of me didn't even think that we were going to even be able to do this. A part of me just thought, like, this is all going to be practice commentary, because I'm going to have to go back and grind a whole bunch more. But we did it! <laughs> oh man, okay. That Grand Lethal from Zidane, man. We, we just got really lucky. This is not the end. I Please, let it be the end. I am eternal. Doesn't look like it, man. You're getting sucked into your own black hole. As long as there is life and death. It was nice of uh, Necron to teleport us all outside to safety, though. That was cool of him. Are you alright? Yeah, but look at what's happening. So, what Kuja said was true. The Ifa tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion. No. Captain. They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. The Hildegard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen Plut Pluto Knight 8, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, sir. Ma'am, sir. Please be alive. Sire, we've rec we're have we receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. This is the Red Rose. Honestly, guys, I'm sorry. I've forgotten like half the voices I've used for all of these secondary characters. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? My name is Makoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Prepare to land immediately. I still can't believe we beat Necron. God. There were a couple of hints in the comment section saying to activate that auto life and auto regen. And that really did it. That really did it. You just need that Phoenix down that automatic phoenix down sort of thing if you don't have that you're just screwed because you're constantly trying to revive people and you just can't do it that's the hildegard three looks like sid came to rescue us sid thank heavens you're all safe come quickly we don't have much time farewell zidane Ah, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zidane, what are you doing? 
Steiner, take care of Dagger. What? Wh what do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I can't just leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because. Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wrecked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy, but I know deep down inside I have to do this. You're not crazy, Zidane. But you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe, but we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it, just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You're definitely... You've definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as... Uh, oh, I can't talk this episode! It's the last one! I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermesia and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't... I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out here? Get on board right now! Come on, let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Zidane, I love you! You better come back! Zidane, I need to eat more different food. I'm still hungry! You need to come back. Take me more places. Show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed the day. Till we meet again. The day you've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Zidane. Princess, we must go. Dagger. I mean, your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too, but I, I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidane. Promise me one thing. Please come back. Oh, don't tell me this ends with the hero's journey crap. Like, seriously, this is not... If Zidane sacrifices himself and dies, or if he just doesn't come back, or if he gets sucked into some world with Kuja, that's not gonna make me happy. Oh my god, Final Fantasy's music is so beautiful. It's just it's so perfect. I've heard this song a million billion times, even though I've never seen this particular scene. Just because I've listened to it a million billion times. Oh, it's so powerful! My heartstrings are being... they're being tugged. Alright, Zidane. Kuja! Can you hear me? I'm coming to get you! You still have time. Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand you. Okay, here goes nothing.
Ne. Uh. Whew! Still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, are you alright? Zidane? What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same thing for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah, I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all the, all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Hey, don't you go dying on me, all right? Kuja, what you did was wrong. But you gave us all one thing. Hope. We were all created for the wrong reason, but you alone defied our fate. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason. That our life has meaning. So, this is Alexandria. Pick up the pace, will ya? I don't believe it. Vivi. Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck. How could you forget me? Puck? You know, Puck. The, the Prince of Burmesia? Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... Vivi's son! Oh, God, thank God! Oh, my God, I really thought that was gonna turn dark there, that he totally forgot who he was. Oh, thank you, man, I re That's one of the first times I really did not want a dark ending. I always talked about you, Zidane, how you were... A very special person to us because you ta taught us how important life was. Something like that shit. <laughs> Freya, you're living, leaving soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria. I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Burmesia? I don't care as long as I'm with you. I love you, Freya. Yet he still doesn't remember our past. 
I just want to cherish our time right now. You taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. God, I'm actually like, uh, almost tearing up a bit here. Save the queen, you have served me well. My duty is finished here. It's been such a long journey. I believe this is part 89. Farewell, Alexandria. 89 parts. Still reeling that we were able to beat Necroth. <laughs> Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts. So, I know we're not alone anymore. Hey. Where are you going to Alexandria? You're not going? I, I never said that. Hey, wait! Why I was born. How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good food, not only delicious. Good food made with heart. This is very important when cooking for friends. To keep doing what you set your heart on, it's a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. That's the first legitimate statement she's ever said. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get there before the play begins! <laughs> There's no need to hurry. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. My new Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. <clears throat> That's what you said, father. Aiko, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Father! Mother! Hurry! S say it again, Aiko! I think my Aiko vo uh, voice got more annoying as time went on. What to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out the answer for ourselves. Beatrix! Where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait! Listen to me! I, uh... I, I never wish to lose you again! Steiner. Let us protect the Queen together! I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures. But I guess we all have to say goodbye, someday. Alright you scumbags, we're almost there! Been a long time since we saw Alexand Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw! Break a leg, people. Everyone. Thank you. Farewell. God, was that Zidane talking the whole time? Did I just did I just screw that whole thing up? I think I did. My memories will be part of the sky. I don't know why it seems so applicable to me that it was each person talking. Shit! Okay, just pretend that was Zidane that whole time. I was wondering why Queen was talking in legitimate sentences. The theater ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. I can't wait to see everyone. But... It'll never be the same. 
I have to let go of the past. I have to move on, just like he taught me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Steiner, Lady Beatrix, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I Wanna Be Your Canary. Marcus? Sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy married to a lowly peasant such as I? Prithee, call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish me, the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our nuptials, shall I become no more than a puppet? A mindless puppet never to laugh, never to cry? I wish to live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no life is more insecure and sincere than that lived as something. So much consideration thou hast given it, but worry not. Cast away thy trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a gown of pure love. Never again will I part from thee. Pray, my love, make me thy canary to keep forever in the cage of thy bosom. Let us embark on the first ship tomorrow before dawn can tell us all my fortunes at that foot I lay and I- Oh, Jesus is going way too fast. No cloud shall- No squall shall hinder us. Way too fast. Oh, love is the sweetest joy and the wildest woe. All I wish is to be my, my sweet Marcus is sad. Fie! It shall be war again unless this marriage ne'er will I let their plan come to fruition. Good day to ye, Highness. Good day. Wist thee of Marcus? Marcus, what news dost thou bring? This. Ugh. I'm straight up punch her in the stomach. Come on, Blank. I know this is a play, but come on, dude. The time for our departure is long past. Where's Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board ye this boat alone, and peace could come to both kingdoms, as Blank so said. Speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So the sun is our enemy, too. The eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds in joyous flight? Hey, Marcus, they cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Nay, ne'er would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear if, she shall appear if only I believe. As the sun lends me no ear, I pray instead to the twin moons. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Bring my beloved dagger to me!
Oh man, I'm actually teared up. Romantic shit always gets to me. <laughs> I didn't, how did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. I wanted to come home to you. So I sang your song. Our song. Oh man, it got to me! I can't believe it. it's so rare. It's so rare that things get to me. It actually made me tear up a little bit. Uh, that's like my number one thing. If it's like romantic, if it's a it's a love story or something like that. It, it's weird, I know. It, nothing else gets to me. Like, nothing. I'm usually really emotionally stable, but holy shit, stuff like that. Woo! Oh my god, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. That game was amazing. That was just as good as I remembered it. Far better, even. God damn! That's like, oh man, that that's that's the best feeling of finishing a game on a YouTube channel I've had in a long time. Just such a long series, but also so impactful and meaningful. That, that's Final Fantasy in a nutshell, though. Woo! <sighs> yeah, I kind of wish I had a face cam for this one. Not really, though. I don't like using face cams in my videos, but just so you guys could see. Yeah, it got to me. It got to me near the end. I'm not fully. I'm not crying or anything, but it. It. it yeah, the. the cir uh, there's a circle around my eyes of uh, of water, of, of tears. Uh, it's just it's, it's like I knew Zidane would come back in the play at the end. I was waiting for the for the reveal. I'm so glad because that's that's the ending that this story needs. It needs just a. It's a really like a, a fantasy ending, you know. Uh, they all lived happily ever after because that's that's the theme of this of this game. Especially the art style of the game. Final Fantasy XV, the end is completely different, but that's because the tone was different for that game as well. Oh man, what a ride. What a ride. God, I really love playing through this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series. I usually like to give a little review. Um, but this one's a little bit, while well, the credits are rolling at the end of a series that I upload, but this one's kind of different because, you know, it's it's a game that I knew I would love. I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy, and even the bad ones, even Final Fantasy 13, 13, 2, 13, 3, I really liked, even though they were really lacking in a lot of different areas. The thing is, if I play a Final Fantasy game, it's probably not going to disappoint me, although Final Fantasy 15 did disappoint me. That's because probably my expectations were very very high for what the game finally delivered uh, I love this game I think it holds up extremely well especially especially the Steam version which is a little bit updated with better graphics and things and little textures and whatever um, I love this game so much I really really enjoyed playing through it I love like all the characters except for Amaranth uh, Queen is a little meh but uh, all the main characters all the people that have significant stories significant backstories there's so much that we didn't do as well there's so much out there and and, and even considering that just look how just look how big and significant this game was the series was it lasted like 90 episodes and uh, yeah it could have lasted probably another hundred if we did everything god just, the, the female characters were good which is rare honestly for Elder Scrolls uh, <laughs> there I go with Elder Scrolls again for um Final Fantasy. It's not that rare, actually, now that I think about it. But, you know, like, even Lightning, she was too staunch. She didn't really have... Once you get past her tough exterior, yeah, she was sweet, but, but what else was really there, you know? Everybody loves Lightning so much, but compare her to Garnet. Like, Garnet was awesome. Garnet was such an awesome character, and Aiko was too, even though she was a kid. She wasn't nearly as annoying. I'd say the most annoying thing about Aiko was my voice for her. I hated doing that voice. I was like, God, now I'm stuck doing that voice forever. Um, but yeah, Garnet was awesome. Steiner was awesome. Zidane. I love Zidane. I think Zidane, Zidane's my favorite character. Um, I love Freya. I love Viv, even though we didn't use him too much. Uh, Iko's okay. And Queena and Amaran, you know, eh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, an amazing game. It holds up totally well. There's really nothing I could say about it. Like, honestly, even the negatives are... Ne any negatives that I could... 
The one big negative I will say is the, is the story. Final Fantasy stories seem to always get way too conv convoluted rather than just tying it up in a neat little bow. And I noticed a bunch of you guys commented that, yeah, they could have just ended it there without the whole Necron thing. I, if, he comes out of nowhere. And, yeah, the story just always gets convoluted in Final Fantasy games. Um, but the main story was good, though. The, the main thing was good. It's just they always start to go in these crazy directions, and I don't like that about Final Fantasy games. But everything, like any of the littler, any of the more minor negatives are totally eclipsed by how amazing this game is. Just so, so good. I, I'm almost at a loss. I'm, I'm very sad that it's over, you know, even though it's lasted 90 episodes, which is long. It's long for, for the series that I do. I, I do long series, but this one is, is long. Um, I, I'm used to doing other long series on my other channel, but this one, uh... It lasted quite a long time, but I I'm sad that it's over, you know? I enjoyed it, like, pretty much all the way through. Even the grinding parts, I don't really like grinding, but, you know, if I get them done off camera, it's not too bad. And, uh, yeah. Just amazing. There's nothing that I can say that, I that won't just be repeating myself as to how much I love this game. Looks like we've reached the end of the credits, though. Unless it starts another credit section, which just looks like it is. So... The way I like to end series on my channels is I like to let the credits run out because without all of these people, obviously wouldn't we wouldn't have this game, I wouldn't have a job, and we wouldn't have this series. So I think it's important to give credit to these people. Um, that's how I like ending my series. So we're going to let the credits run out. Thank you one and all for watching this series. We're probably going to take a little bit of a break, especially because I am very, 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 very busy at the moment. Uh, with other stuff outside of this channel so we'll probably take a little break between the next series but we will be doing another series this might be the end actually which is unusual because final fantasy credits are usually very long nope never mind uh yeah so that's it thank you guys for watching this series thank you all for uh just enjoying it i it was one of my most enjoyed series i've ever done and i've been on youtube for like four years so thank you guys thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in whatever we do next. Bye-bye.